What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're bringing you guys an absolute banger of a team that features a Pokemon that I haven't showcased in a while, the Raladon. You guys are in no deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button and join the Jeans community. It really does go a long way. So I give a huge shout out to each and every one of my subscribers. But like I just mentioned, like Duraludon, awesome Gen 9 Pokemon, right? This is Gen 9. Yeah, no, this is Gen 8. This is Gen 8. Awesome Gen 8 Pokemon. Absolutely love this guy. It definitely stopped seeing like the rank double battle scene ever since like series 10 came in when restricted mons but i still really like this pokemon and i cannot wait to showcase them off but let's get started here with today's team preview we're starting off with the one and only whimsicott in the top left corner we got prankster alongside with the mental herb alongside moon blast tailwind cotton sport and encore for a great move set second pokemon on the squad is going to be shadow rider calyrex this pokemon is an absolute menace in series 12 and it's just been dominating every single battle it's got the as one ability the focus dash as item and then it's rocking out with astro brush snarl for special attack drops will the wisp for burn on physical attackers and then we got protect for that fourth and final move third pokemon on squad is the one and only zassi we got the substitute move set on him so we got substitute protect sacred sword and iron head and then obviously the item and ability is going to be the rusted sword and the interpret sword Fourth Pokemon on squad is Incineroar. Shukaberry Incineroar, that's all I'm going to say. Everything else is normal. It's got the normal ability, pretty normal moveset. It's there if you guys want to take a closer look at it. Bottom left-hand corner is going to be our lovely Defiant Thunderous. And I like this Pokemon so much in Series 12. Considering Intimidate is such a huge factor, we can just have a Pokemon like him kind of on the field or even in the party and just posing a threat to any Intimidate Pokemon. We got the Life Orb as item, and then we're rocking out with Wild Charge, Fly, both for our stab moves, Brick Break for coverage, and then last but not least, we're rocking Protect. Final Pokemon on the squad is the boy the one and only the Raladon, or some other people pronounce it derelute or deraludon i say deraludon then we got the soul war ability alongside the soul vest so making this pokemon really really bulky up against special attackers we have flash cannon draco meteor for two stab moves body press and snarl for our other two moves guys if you want to try this team for yourself the rent the code is at the bottom of the screen but let's get after it let's hop on that ranked double ladder look to get some wins with this series 12 the Raladon team Hopping into our first battle for today's video, and we're going up against a Solgaleo and Kyogre team that also features Mimikyu, and then what is that? Whimsicott, Incineroar, and Indeedee. Okay, I gotta lead the Raladon. Really like this Pokemon, can really do some work up against the uh, the Mimikyu as well. So it has Stalwart, it can dodge the follow me's, it can hit through disguises. I really like this Pokemon. So I'm gonna lead him, we're gonna get rocking with him, and then next Pokemon I wanna bring may be this Whimsicott. Might be the Whimsicott. It is rocking Cotton Spore, which isn't too bad. I do like me some Cotton Spore. Yeah, it harshly lowers the speed set. It is really nice. It is really nice, but uh, what do I want to roll into? I could roll into my own Whimsicott. Hmm. Whimsicott. Mm, bu -bu 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 -bum. Shadow Rider Cal Actually, yeah. Shadow Rider Calyx is a really good lead. It's a really good lead with the movesets rocking. We definitely want to bring in Zassian. And then last but not least, I'm leaning towards Thunders here. I am leaning towards Thunders, but Whimsicott is also pretty good. But we're going to need another Pokemon to Dynamax, so I'm going to bring Thunders. Just in case, you know, the Raladon doesn't work out. But... Something I forgot to mention in the team preview is my Twitter. I've been mentioning it in a bunch of videos. So if you guys haven't followed my Twitter already, head down the link in the description below. Go follow my Twitter page. Link is down there. And also, go follow my new sponsorship or my new partnership. We got all the links to their channels down in the description below. We're doing giveaways. We're going to be doing extra content, all that good stuff. So go head down there. Follow Short Circuit Gaming on all platforms. But uh, let's see who this guy leads. And let's see who he brings in. He's definitely going to bring in the Kyogre. He's definitely going to bring in the Soul Galio. But I'm kind of hoping he leads the Mimikyu so I can just Dynamax the Raldon and get rolling out with that Pokemon. Because we can legit like block a follow or we can go through a follow me and we can hit right through his disguise which is, which is beautiful it is just beautiful we love it we love it but let's see what the, how this one plays out here let's see who our dude's ripping with he's gonna rip with indeedy and kyogre so i still my dynamax throughout it right off the rip he does resist water hard so i'm, I'm kind of with that i'm kind of with that just snarling and uh going for like a dynamax or i can just stay in and maybe drop a trick meter it's really up to me whatever i want to do whatever jeans wants to do but I am kind of feeling a Dynamax. Just boosting stats, getting rolling like that. I am kind of with that. I am, like, I'm leaning towards it. Sounded pretty good. To, sounds pretty good to me, right? Sounds pretty good to me, but we'll see. I, I think his, uh, his G-Max move, it just hits through abilities, right? I think that's, a, that's all it does. This thing's going to get a special defense boost. We're going to uh, check out its G-Max move. Actually, oh, it's not a, it's not a G-Max one. It's not a G-Max one. Wow. Oh, it's not G-Max one. But, you know, I'm going to lower special defense, and I'm just going to drop a Snarl here. Exactly what I'm going to do. Hmm. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to drop a Snarl and lower special defense. I think it's a solid play for us. I think it is a lovely little play, but, yo, this is not a G-Max. The Raladon. God dang, dude. 
I really thought it was. I thought we were going to build up on the skyscraper, but yo, it's all good. This thing is super bulky. Has the assault vest as well. We're going up against two special attackers. It's just gorgeous. And I wonder what he's going to do here. I'm kind of hoping he's protecting Kai. That would be a lovely little turn for us. It could be a gorgeous little turn for us. But we shall see. We shall see. He's just going to... Oh, yo, he's choice. This thing's choice all day. Choice all day. Goes right into his move. We're going to be able to drop us on all. And what's called Maiko down here? What's called Maiko down here? Calyrex. This guy outspeeds, and that, that can do me dirty there. We do get that special defense shot, but hopefully the route on outspeeds, which he does. So this should take out Ndidi, no problem. Tell it to go home. Get it on out my face. We love it. We love it. So Ndidi's gone. We got minus one on special defense there. And uh, how should I play this one? Probably protect the Calyrex and just roll into like a hard-hitting move. Try to take out the Kyogre. I'm with that all day. I am digging that. I am indeed digging that. Digging it, digging it, digging it. But the Pokemon I'm really scared of is going to be this uh, Solgaleo. She's going to Dynamax right here. And we do not want to proc policy. We kind of just want to get after the battle. And roll off from there. So you know what? I'm just going to go into the Wormwind. I mean, it won't it won't drop the stats or anything. So I think Wormwind's going to be your play. Just take out the Kyogre and then uh, protect your Calyrex here. Protect this lovely little Calyrex. We don't feel like dealing with it. We don't feel like dealing with this Solgaleo. With this Kyogre taking out my Calyrex. That could be tough. But yeah, as long as this uh, Kyogre doesn't protect, we should be fine here with this turn. Because if Kyogre doesn't protect, we take out him no problem. And we're hoping the Solgaleo is going after my uh, my Duraludon, which would be nice. Then I could start setting up a defense boost, just kind of like start soaking up some shots. But we'll see. The Solgaleo is not that fast. He's not that fast of a Pokemon. Duraludon should be able to outspeed it pretty well here. But I'm going to protect my lovely little horse. Yeah, I'll eat, send it, because we do not want this Origin Pulse or Water Spout KO on us. Well, it's choice, yeah, so it's going to be choice and Water Spout. That's going to be easy eats for my Duraludon all day. Look at this. Look how look how much we soak here. Oh, my God. Actually, that did a little bit more than I thought it was going to do. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. He's going to drop a Max Knuckle. And is that going? That's got to go into my Duraludon. And Duraludon's able to soak. That's lovely. The one problem here is going to be that thing just outspeeding him. But I could throw a burn. I could throw a burn next turn, because what's called is going to die. Our boy's going to die right here. Our boy Kyogre is definitely going down the dumps here. He's minus one on special defense. He should just go. What? He survives? That's whack. That is whack. That does me real dirty. That does me real dirty. But I'm really not worried about it unless he swaps out. Unless he swaps out. Which could be tough because it's just a... He might actually swap out. He might swap out. And that's that, that sucks. That sucks. And I really do not want to proc policy. But I might have to. Dude, that's awful. That is awful. That that thing does not go down there. No, I'm still going to drop more win into this thing. Just in case. And I'm just going to go for the... Uh, wow. Can we actually eat up a water spout? 16 damage on that HP. He guards. Let's see what he does. Let's see how this one plays out here. He's going to water spout. Can he eat that up, Calyrex? You can. That's gorgeous. Okay, so this turn actually works out really well. This turn actually works out well. Because I can burn him next turn. I can burn him next turn and we take out Kyger. So he was hoping that he could do a little bit more damage than that. But yeah, it only did like three. Get him on out of here. We're not dealing. I'm so surprised that first one wind in the KO. Wow. But that's fine. That actually works out fine because he's wasting Dynamax turns uh, by Max Garden doing that. So, I'll take that. I'll take that all day. He's going to poke out with Incineroar. I mean, he can fake me out. That's his play, but he can't He can't fake out my Calyrex. So, I'm going to throw a burn on the Solgaleo. I am going to throw a burn on the Solgaleo. And I think I'm just... I can't protect my Duraludon. I think I might just, like, drop a Body Press. But I really don't want to worry about this, or I really don't want to pop this uh, Sogelia's weakness policy, so I'm really looking out. I'm really looking out for it. So from here, you know, I'm just going to drop this uh, Dricka meter. I'm just going to throw a burn. I'm going to throw a lovely little burn. Get a burn on this Sogelia. I'm not trying to deal with it. Not trying to deal with this Pokemon. It is already plus one due to a uh, Max Knuckle. So yeah, we, we got to get after this and hope that this Willowis actually connects. Because, you know, sometimes it's real whack. It's real whack, and I got an odd feeling it's going to miss. Cool, it didn't miss. Awesome. We burned this thing. It's got to be weakness policy. No lumbar you allowed, right? Cool. Cool. Knuckles is going to fly through. He's going to boost his attack again. And who's he going to take out here? The Rowdon. Obviously, it's going to be the Rowdon because he can't hit Calyrex with that move. So yeah, he's going to get the attack boost. We're going to roll out with two of our faster Pokemon. I'm surprised he didn't go for a fake out. That's what I really thought he was going to do. But that was actually a really smart play by him to drop the Knuckle and kind of roll out from there. So he's going to snarl. He's going to take me out with that. And then from here, we have our Zacian and our Thunders. A lovely little Zassian and a lovely little Thunders. So, I think he could potentially just swap that uh, that Incineroar and kind of go from there. Actually, he can, right? Wasn't Ndidi his lead? Yeah, Ndidi was his lead, and we just absolutely ripped on it. So, it's a 2v2 situation. It's a 2v2, and we know that uh, Solgaleo is rocking a Protect move, so we might want to read a Protect. 
while this thing maybe go for a party shot. I, I don't know. I do not know, but I'm definitely terrified because these things, this dude, they're boosting. They're boosting. And I kind of want to double down into. Uh, I kind of want to double down in Sogalio. I really do, but I'm scared of the protect coming in hot. I could set up a sub. Just in case you. Oh, sub? It does sound good right now. A substitute sounds gorgeous right now. But it is burn. A substitute does sound lovely right now. Just in case he protects, sub is going to be your play. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like this turn. I like this turn. Just in case he wants to protect, we're going to sub this. Because if he protects, he, he might be going for like a flare blitz, which is in the rain, but still. It can do a lot of damage as it's plus one. We're going to set up a sub. He does not protect, which is gorgeous. And we're going to get rolling. Thunders go next. Yeah, Thunders does go next. Nice. Chip up some damage on him. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We'll take a little bit of recoil. And then what's he going to do from here? What's he gonna do? He's gonna go for a rock slide. And can you eat that up, Thunders? I need you to eat that up. Let's go, Thunders. All day, baby. All day, baby. All day, Thunders. And Flare Blitz, they're gonna double down in his ass. So the sub suit was gorgeous. The sub suit was gorgeous. We're gonna go down to this turn due to our recoil damage. But from here, I think we just, uh. What do we do? Do we double down to, like, Incineroar here and try to take him out? That could definitely be a play. We go down regardless. So I think we double down into, uh,. Incineroar. I think we get rid of this Incineroar. We wild charge into uh, Secret Sword. We could Brick Break. We could double down like that. But I think wild charge might do. Will wild charge do a little bit more damage? Will Brick Break do it? It's double, but this is stab. I think Brick Break does a bit more damage. So you know what? We're going to double down here. Go Secret Sword. Double down right into the Solgaleo. Or not Solgaleo. Incineroar. We got to get rid of this one. Get him out of here. Cool. Okay. We just dump on him like that. That works perfectly. That works perfectly. And this actually might bite us. This might bite us. This might bite us. Okay, never mind. I thought it was super effective. Never mind. Never mind. We're cool. We're chilling. We're chilling. Why do I think fighting was super effective up against him? That's beautiful then. Because I thought we were going to pop, pop uh, weakness policy and then this thing was just going to dump on us. <laughs> I was going to be so upset. I was going to be so upset. But Sunseal Strike comes through here. Should be able to eat this just fine. Gorgeous, and that's going to be GG's. That is going to be GG's. The burn, the will o -Wisp coming out from Calyrex earlier, saves our uh, Solgaleo, or not a Solgaleo, saves our ass in here. Saves him. Now we're just going to take a sword. We're going to say GG's in battle number one. Let's go. Want to know to get this video started. That is how it's done. We're hopping into our second battle, and that first battle was money. We got out there with the Raladon, Dynamaxim, showcased him to his fullest potential, and more importantly, grabbed ourselves a win. But we're going up against Yavelta and Zassian team that also fe features Landorus, Regilecki, Grimmsnarl, and that lovely little Storm Dream Gashon. Okay, how should I go into this one? How should I play it? I feel like Whimscott is solid for a lead. We can take some speed control there, and then obviously, like, Shadow Rider Calyrex just works well in most different situations. We could burn some physical attackers. We could Snarl Drop. I'm really liking them. So, you know what? I'm going to lead them to get rolling with that. Bring Zassian in the back end. And then last but not least, do we go Thunders? Or do we go, like, the Raladon? Raladon's cool, but it's just, like, he has a Zassian with Sacred Sword. He also has the uh, the Landers with probably, like, EQ or some type of ground move. So, I'm really leaning towards Thunders here. I am really leaning towards Thunders, which I really like. So, we're going to roll out with that. Especially because he does have Intimidate, too. So, if he wants to go into, like, an Intimidate onto my Pokemon while he's out on field, Define could pop, and that could really do us good. That could really do us good, but let battle number two commence. Let's get after it. Let's guarantee ourselves a winning record in this battle. That'd be awesome. That'd be awesome if we could just st steal this battle right here and then hop into the third one, showcase the Raladon a little bit more, and roll out from there. That would be beautiful. That would be lovely. That would be lovely. But he's going to lead Zassian. Long side with Reggie's Lucky, which I do not mind. I can see a Dynamax coming out from Reggie, but uh, same time, what do I do? Do I just throw a burn onto Zassian? I'm really leaning towards that. Throw a burn on Zassian. We're going to hope that doesn't protect, but it might protect, which is scary. It might protect, which is scary, but I'm definitely going to toss a burn over onto his side and a roll off in there. So Tailwind popping out here, and then we're just going to throw a nice lovely Will-O-Wisp. Will Will-O-Wisp. No protects from that. That's, that's all we ask for. Just you try to go for like a behemoth blade onto my onto my Wimscott. Go ahead, because once I get off Tailwind, you can take out Wimscott all you want. You can just absolutely dump all Wimscott after I get off Tailwind. That's probably like the most beneficial thing is like when your Wimscott dies turn one after Tailwind because then you get your other Pokemon with all the Tailwind turns ready to go. Beautiful. He doesn't protect. We're setting up a Tailwind. Loving it. Squad is setting up. We're going to throw a nice lovely Will-O-Wisp. Oh, and it connects. Gorgeous, yo. I love the burns. The burns doing us good. The burns are doing us good. I could see Reggie actually Volt Switching here, but he's just going to E-Web instead. That's that's totally fine with me. We're hoping he's doubling. He, he's actually probably going to KO anybody. anybody he hits here. But we're hoping he takes that Wimscott here. Take out my Whimsy. Get rid of Whimsy. Get rid of Whimsy. Behemoth Blade comes in here. Go after Whimscott, please. Because I don't think that's going to take out Shadow Rider Calyrex. 
Boom Scott. Oh no. God dang it. Does that take him out? It does not. Okay, so we get an extra turn here. Should still be faster. And now I can actually just go into an Astro Barrage and a Moon Blast and double down into this little booger right here. So yeah. Astro Barrage, Moon Blast, loving it. We're still fast, faster on the field. We are only minus one, but still Tailwind puts us at plus two. So technically, we're plus one. Technically, we're plus one. He's going to end up with Thrall and Zacian. And who's going to be taking the shot? Who's swapping into? Yvelta. Okay, great little swap from him. I'll give it to him all day. I'll give it to him all day. That was a great swap. That was a great swap. Astro Barrage is going to poke through here, but I think we should be able to take out what's called No Problem. I think we should be able to take out what's called No Problem. Uh, Regilecki, without him going, right? I'm hoping Wimscott can outspeed it, because that could be huge for us. And he doesn't. It's a little rough. It's a little rough. Who dodged that? Who just dodged that? Was it Calyrex? Oh, Calyrex. I love you. I love you, Calyrex. I love you, Calyrex. He's probably going to Dynamax the, uh, the Delta here. I can definitely see that happening. But we do have Thunderous. We do have Thunderous ready to Dynamax. We have Thunderous ready to Dynamax. So he's going to be forced to either bring back out his Assassin or show his final Pokemon. I'm like, what I'm saying. Great solid lead for us. The Whimsicott Shadow Rider Calyrex lead is just so good. He's going to throw out his final Pokemon, which is going to be Grimmsnarl. So I'm going to guess he's going to Dynamax Yvelta here. And he's going to set up some screens. He's going to set up some screens. What do we do? Do we just let that thing kind of do its, do its thing? Or do we start tackling on some damage? I think we just try to Snarl, right? Yeah, we're going to start tackling on some damage. And I'm just going to Snarl up onto it. We know he's Dynamaxing, right? Yeah. So he's gonna, unless he's Dynamaxing... Grimmy, but I, I don't see it happen. I don't see it happen. I think Yvelta's going to get the Dynamax, and this Snarl can really do a skill, right? Yeah, gorgeous. Gorgeous, because we're going to be guaranteeing to get off this Snarl. Because he can't fake me out. I'm ghost typing, and we're definitely fast on the field. That's just beautiful. So, I think he's going to Airstream and try to start taking a little bit of speed here. But still, if I can just start Snarling up on this thing, that'd be solid turns for us. Solid, solid turns for us. So, Special Attack Drop comes through here. I'm guessing Grip Snarl is going to take a shot at my Calyrex. And then Yvelta is going to take out my uh, Wimscott, right, with an Airstream. Wait, right, that's got to be the play, right? Airstream coming through on Wimscott. Yeah, and then a probably Spirit Break coming across. Okay, so I'm fine with that. We should have one more turn left in Tailwind. And that could be big. That could be big. Could lead him to Max Guard, but we still have our Dynamax with a Thunder. So we're all strong with that. And I'm really not worried about that Zacian in the back end with the, uh, with the burn. He, he can get out of my face. We're not dealing with him. We're not dealing with him. Foul play's coming in hot. Bang. He's going to deal some damage. And we're dead. Surprised he went for a foul play. That might have been like his only move. That's totally fine. That is totally fine. Wow, if he actually had Sucker Punch, Sucker Punch could have did us dirty. Now I can bring out both of these guys. I can pose threats on both of them. Dynamax my Thunderous. We should be faster. Like I said, one more turn left in Tailwind could do this. But I think we do have. I think we have one more turn. I think your boy has one more turn. Watch. It's gonna, it's, the Tailwind's going to peter out here and I'm going to be upset. I'm going to be so upset. Do not. Do not leave us. It's got to be one more, right? I'm, I believe it's one more. Calculations gotta be correct. It is. Cool. The tailwind doesn't peter out. We have one more turn left in it. And this guy is definitely like all shaken up. He's rattled. Because we got our Zassi imposing a threat on that Grim Snarl. And we silver Dynamax and finish off the Shibelt here. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Yo, battle number two. Looking real good for your boy. It's looking real good. It's looking real good. It's looking like we can hop into that third and final battle. Get the Raladon rolling out there. Showcase him one more time. Let's see. Dynamax coming in hot. I can't believe I found this to Raladon team. Well, someone actually sent it to me, which is awesome. You guys want to actually send me teams. That's what, that's really good for my Twitter. Go ahead over to Twitter. Hit that follow button over my Twitter page. Either DM me or tweet at me. You guys rent the teams. I'd love to get my hands on cool teams. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I was actually excited that we found a Duralad on team because I haven't used him in so long. He's going to end up scary facing me. That's, okay, that's pretty cool, but Thunder should still be able to outspeed here and finish off this thing, right? Yeah, that's GG's. Because he's going to die to this, no problem. Get him on out of my face. And then Behemoth Blade's gonna fly over here. Take out Grimmsnarl. That's totally fine. And then we gotta deal with a Burn's ass. Here. Like, that's it. The match over. He's gonna cancel it. Or he's just gonna quit. Come on, yo. Pop up on the screen. Communication error. <laughs> this guy knows the battle's over. This guy knows the battle's over. What a solid, solid second battle. Our lead was what perfectly set us up. Like I said, the Women's Cotton Shadow Rider Calyx is just one of the best leads in the game, in my opinion. It's just so versatile and can do a lot of work. Which we just showcased right here. But Behemoth Blade flies through. Grimson, get on out of here. Get on out of here. We don't need you here. We don't want you here. And then our tailwind's gone, and yeah, it's over. It is over with. We took that Zassian out instantly. With That's what's so good about Willowbus. You go up against physical attackers. We even showcased that in battle number one. We burned the Solgaleo. We burned the Zassian. It just takes them out. They're doing so much less damage, and they're just not even close as good as they were. 
But he'll throw out the Zacian. We'll drop a Blade. We'll drop a Lightning. I'm pretty sure our opponent cancels the battle. And we go from there, right? Cancel battle. He does not. He stays in. Nope, nope. He cancels the battle. <laughs> it's perfect record time. We're hopping into our third and final battle. We're going up against a sick team. Talonflame, Alolan Executor, Xerneas, and then Indeedee alongside with Kyogre. Okay, so since I see Indeedee and Xerneas, it makes me want to lead the route on. We have Stalwart, we can hit through to follow me, and we can really roll off from there. So the Raladon is 100% going to be my lead. Next Pokemon I want to rock out with is I'm leaning towards the, the Calyrex here. Calyrex is so good. He's just so good. So you know what? I'm going to go Calyrex. I'm going to go the Raladon. Bring Zacian, and then Thunderous or Incineroar? Thunderous. 100% Thunderous, yo. Incineroar doesn't really look like he does too much work here. So I'm going to rock out with Thunderous, and we're going to look to grab ourselves a perfect record for today's video. But yo, first and second battle, your boys thrive. I've been playing so well. But uh, hopefully we can we can roll out here and grab ourselves a perfect record, especially with the Raladon. Team. One of my favorite Pokemon's for Gen 8. Really is. Really is. In the Gala region, Pokemon's just so cool. But I mentioned in the beginning of the video, we just haven't been seeing a lot of them ever since Series 12. Or not Series 12, but like Series 10 came in and restricted months that uh, started coming out here. But he's going to end up leading Executor. In that case, I'm totally fine. I'm just going to Dynamax my Duraldon. I'm just going to drop a Max Wormwind right into that Executor. Right into that Executor. Right after. We're getting after this, boy. We're getting after this boy. And then I'll drop a Snarl. Because you know Astro Brash has no effect on for the Ndidi. We can kind of just roll off from there. But I'm hoping he's going for a follow me. Not not remembering that I'm Stalwart. Because a lot of people do. Like that happens to them. They forget about the Stalwart. That I can hit the follow me. Because I, what I think he wants to do here is go into a uh, follow me. And go into like a, a Spore. Or Sleep Powder. We kind of just go from there. So you know we're just going to do this. Drop a Snarl. Go into a nice lovely Maximum Room. And we're going to thrive out from here. Dying and Maxing the boy. Big dog with the rally on coming out here. Like I did mention about him one. I'm surprised this isn't a uh, G Max Pokemon. Surprised it's not a G Max Pokemon, but I, I understand why. It's just so it doesn't change its uh, seal move to not get a defense boost, which is very, very reasonable because the defense boost with Max Seal Spike is very, very powerful. So I understand that. Does not go for a follow me. Follow me does not come out here. So we're just going to go straight for this, and then we're just going to drop this alone. Right? This should take out Executor, no problem. We did get a crit on the uh, Indeed. Which is just gorgeous. And we'll get the special attack drop. And then my boy's going to probably drop this executive. Unless it bulks a shot out. Which it potentially can. Let's see. It does not. Get him on out of here. Get him out of here. This tall, lanky tree, dude. With that long tail that is somehow a dragon. Which I do not understand. Get him out of here. We're not dealing with him. Heal pulse can come through. And yo, what a waste of a turn. What a waste of a... Mwah. Mwah. The battle's over. GG's. Wrap it up. That's GG's. Wrap this battle up. It is all over now. It is all over. What kind of move was that? Going for a heal pulse like that? Get him on out of here. He's going to roll out into Kyogre, which I'm totally cool with. Give our Focus Ash. My boy resists water moves like crazy, and he has an Assault Vest. It's just lovely. It's just lovely. And then from here, uh, do I go for Darkness? I could go for Special Defense Drop. Special Defense Drop is actually really solid here. I really am leaning towards that. Yeah, we're going to go for the special defense drop in the Kyogre, and I'm just going to snarl. I think that's going to be our plays all game. Just throughout on doing damage, and <laughs> Calyrex is just snarling. He cancels the battle. Let's go. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. A perfect record with this Duraludon Series 12 team. I absolutely love it. Duraludon, like I mentioned in today's video, one of my favorite Pokemon from the Gala region. So it was fun to use him on the rank ladder, Dynamax him, and grab some wins. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.